a new artificial intelligence tool known as ChatGPT. ChatGPT is poised to change the way we interact with computers. ChatGPT. 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 By now, you've probably already heard about all the different ways to use ChatGPT, whether it's ChatGPT this or ChatGPT that to make money. But did you know that there's so many other AI tools out there that were created that can help you to improve your daily life in 2023? You see, AI isn't something that can just be used to solve a math problem or help write your essay. It's something that can be used to improve every part of your daily life. For instance, let's just say you wanted to create a picture of you with a dog, whether it's to show your friends or it's for a dog fair, you can do that directly with AI. Well, you could also do that with Photoshop, but a lot of these tools actually are meant to be easy to use and help you to improve your daily life and stuff that's tedious. In order to show you how easily these tools work, I actually provide a demonstration for each of these upcoming tools that I'm about to describe to you. Not only are these AI tools super easy to use, they're also free as well. Well, some of them do have a premium version, but you can totally use the free plan extensively and it's super easy to get into. So without further ado, let's get started. Have you ever taken a photo with your friends or a picture of the landscape and you wanted to see the scenery, but for some reason, unexpectedly, there's a random person in the picture. That person was not supposed to be there and you missed it when you were taking the photo and you're like, dang it, now I don't have a good picture to use. And so what you do is you go online and you look up how to take objects out of a photo and it actually takes up some work and you might have to download Photoshop, which takes money and there's so many other things that go into it that's pretty tedious. How about we use AI to make that easy and seamless for you? Check out something called cleanup.pictures. It takes any photo for you and cleans up the object that you want to take out of the photo. So let me show you an example. Here I have one of my photos of me actually at my graduation in college. And as you can see, I'm holding a mask and I forgot to put that mask down when I was taking the picture and there's a few people in the background. So what I can do is I can upload this picture to cleanup.pictures as you can see and you can actually use their brush tool in order to clean up the object that you want to take out. In this instance, I'm taking out my mask and as you can see, it does it pretty well. You might have to try it a few times in order to get the background right. And then you can see I'm gonna take it out with the people in the background and it's a lot nicer than expected. And with this finished product, I have a picture of me at my graduation without my mask and the people in the background and I can use it for social media. This next one is actually really crazy and it's something that you can use in your daily life. Whether you are in marketing or sales or you might be creating a blog, you can use this AI in order to help you create better content for those specific things. Therefore, it can be used to help if you ever have writer's block or if you're not sure how to write something, it can be used to create any content that you need. In this way, it would help you to write better content in order to improve your own skills in the area and also help you to grab readers' attention or your audience's attention if you're trying to make a blog or you're trying to market a product. So the AI is called copy.ai and let's take this example. Okay, so here we're gonna go to templates and I'm actually gonna use this for cold outreach emails. I usually use that when I'm trying to apply for a job and I'm reaching out to people in order to ask for a referral. So they're gonna ask you these main points that you wanna cover. So for this specifically, I'm going to try to cover things that will allow me to get a referral from this person named John Smith. In this case, I want to use this because I don't know how to write my own cold outreach email and this will provide me with the best way in order to write one. After after writing all the information that I need and choosing a tone for the message, it actually generates a bunch of different prompts based on what you gave it and you're allowed to choose which one that you like. Based on the one that you like, you're actually allowed to ask for more of the same thing. This way, you're able to get more variety and you can send it out to more people as well. This next AI technology is super useful for anyone who has ever joined any meeting. Have you ever taken a meeting in which you almost basically fell half asleep during the meeting or you weren't paying attention? Or many times like me, I think I'm paying attention in a meeting. During the meeting, I know exactly what's going on, but right after, I forget to take notes and I had no idea what I was talking about during the meeting. And usually you're just like, holy crap, I totally have no idea what happened. So next time I'm gonna take notes, but next time comes around and you forget to take notes again. Taking notes is such a tedious part of taking a meeting. You don't wanna spend that energy taking notes when you have to participate in the meeting. So this next AI 
actually can take your notes for you. It's called otter.ai and it literally takes notes for you, whether you're in a group of just one person or like tens of people, it takes notes for everyone based on what they are saying. And after you can compile that and write a good format so you don't forget what happened at the meeting. What's that? It looks like I have a meeting to attend to. So let's go check it out. As you can see, you can just go to otter.ai and directly start recording. And then once you're in your meeting, it actually records it for you. And as you can see, Otter AI has joined the chat. Hey Ray, can you tell me about yourself? Hello, my name is Ray Fu and I help you to learn about how to make money online and about your own personal finance in the tech space. If you want to be able to transcribe any of your meetings for future use, whether you fall asleep in class or anything, make sure to use Otter AI because it's a super cool tool that lets you put all of your notes from your meetings in one place. Bye bye. And as you can see, Otter AI has listed the whole meeting transcript for you. This is perfect for you if you are one to basically not pay attention during meetings or just anyone who takes meetings anyways, because it's always helpful to take notes. You may have heard of this next one before, but if you haven't before, you need to check it out. It's called Stable Diffusion, and it's actually being used in so many different areas and companies as well. Basically, it's an AI that turns anything you type with text into an image. For example, if you type the word dog, Dog, it would create an image of a dog. But there's something like that already. It's called Google Images. If you type a dog, you get a dog out. However, this one is a little bit different. It can create an image based on any text that you give it, even if it's not already created by someone else on the internet. This will be super helpful if you need to take pictures for maybe real estate or you know, you're creating a website or a blog or anything and you need to put pictures on it and you just can't find the right picture. So you can just describe it to Stable Diffusion and it'll create that picture for you. However, you actually can use Stable Diffusion directly. So a lot of people use these two free platforms called Stable Diffusion Web or Night Cafe. However, with Night Cafe, you actually are able to create prints out of the art that you create using your text. In this example, we are going to use Stable Diffusion Web. Take a look at this. Let's just say we wanted to show a picture of a hamster eating chicken nuggets in a classroom. Super weird, but let's generate it to see if it works. And bam, as you can see, it created four pictures for you of a hamster eating chicken nuggets in a classroom. I don't know why you need, would need to use that, maybe for your new hamster project, but it is just something to show you that anything can be done with stable diffusion. This next one is pretty interesting. Have you ever seen any of those videos in which it's just a YouTube video of a bunch of images? You don't see the person actually talking, but there's a narrator talking on the image. Some examples include these. So many sources online that tell you different methods to earn money easily. You can earn $8 for every single video that you watch. If you may have possibly watched a video that was fully created using AI. And a lot of these videos referenced by other YouTubers are like cash automation, YouTube cash cow, YouTube cash automation. A lot of these ideas you can actually create yourself and you can use AI to create them. They are produced using AI generating voiceovers. So this AI is actually free to use. They have a premium version, but you can use it for free and it's called Murph.ai. With Murph.ai, you actually are able to create a whole voiceover using any kind of voice that you want. and all all you have to do is provide the text for the AI to speak into. This will be really good if you have the knowledge and you really wanted to make informational YouTube videos or just YouTube videos, current events, and you didn't want to be in front of the camera, you're too shy to be in front of the camera, you can just write up the script and use this AI in order to make that whole video with the narration. Let me show you an example. All right, so I'm basically gonna write something for this guy named Nate in order to say out. It's a pretty simple sentence, but it will show you an idea of what it can do. Hey everyone, this is Ray speaking. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. So as you can see, it not only says it in a really narrative way, you can also change the type of person that's saying the voice. You can change the speed of the voice. And there's a lot of customizations that you can do to make the voice what you want it to be. Hey everyone, this is Ray speaking. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. For this last one, if you ever have been through writing block, whether it's writing for you know content creation, for a blog or for a magazine, you need to check this one out. It's called Thunder Content AI and it's the best way in order for you to get over your writer's block because it really helps you to create content ideas of in itself. Thanks to AI, this insanely strong tool is allowing you to create content in any language that you want. It can make anything from blog posts to restaurant testimonials to even Tinder bios for you if you can't think of any. Let's say that you recently started trying to get Yelp Elite. I know, who tries to get Yelp Elite? Well, I tried before to get Yelp Elite and in order to get Yelp Elite, you need to actually eat at a bunch of restaurants 
and you also got to write good restaurant testimonials for all of them. At a certain point, it gets really tedious to write all of these testimonials. So wouldn't it be great if there was a way for me to allow an AI to write it for me? Well, check this out. For this, let's just say I visit the restaurant Krusty Krab and I just say a few things about the Krusty Krab and I just wanted these points to be listed within the content. And I, you don't have to write like that specific things, you can just write general things. And then as you can see, it will come out with the exact testimonial that you should put into your Krusty Krab content review. Thanks for watching guys. These are the coolest AI that I have found for you to use. If you have any really cool AI that you wanted to share, make sure to put it in the comment section below. If you have tried any of these before and it has worked for you, let me know in the comments as well. Make sure to subscribe and also hit that like button so I I can create more of these videos. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to really go into helping you guys to make money online with personal finance in the tech realm. All right, take care everyone.